All right, so let's see. It looks like, according to YouTube Studio, it looks like we're live. If you can hear me and see me, let me know. Of course, I'm going to check myself. But if you guys can hear me, see me, comment, I hear you, like this uh, live stream if you haven't done so already. Uh, let's see, it'll just be a second because I like to verify. Of course, we've got the ad playing. That's always a good sign. Guys, let me know if you can hear me, you can see me, and we're going to skip the ad. All right, perfect. I can hear me, I can see me. That is good enough. So, how is everyone today? I jumped on an hour early because I thought I thought it would make your lives a little bit easier. It makes my life a little bit easier if we can go on an hour early. I'm actually going to try something new tonight, uh, and this has nothing to do with Amazon or affiliate marketing. I'm actually going to try and smoke a brisket overnight. Uh, the purpose of, of smoking this brisket overnight, and again, this has nothing to do with affiliate marketing, or it could, uh, depending on how you look at it, um, so that it can be ready for football tomorrow. And so that's something that we're going to try. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but here we go. Guys, let me know if you have any questions about Amazon affiliate marketing. Let me know if you have any questions about affiliate marketing in general. I'd be happy to answer them. This is my channel. This is who I am. This is My name is Alston Godbolt. Thank you guys for jumping on. Um, and basically, I create a lot of content about affiliate marketing and making money online. Uh, my channel is a little bit different than some of the other channels out there because I'm not going to tell you that you can make a bunch of money easily um, and fast. I think that you know the slow and steady, the consistent and persistent effort is the way to go, and that's the way to long-term success because you can replicate it over a long period of time. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk all about Amazon Associates and Amazon Affiliate Marketing. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the fee schedule. We're going to talk about the boring stuff, and then we're going to talk about the fun stuff and how you could potentially make money from it. Now, I'm actually, I shouldn't have any issues with streaming today because I'm actually hardwired in. Usually I use my Wi-Fi uh, to connect, and but today I shouldn't have any issues. I'm hardwired in, so that's kind of a surprise. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in. Go, go ahead and get into it. So Amazon or Amazon Associates is the largest affiliate program in the world. So if we jump over to Amazon, uh, Amazon has its own affiliate program, its own affiliate network, and you can promote most of the products that are found on this website. Now, the reason why I say most is some products you just you can't promote. And to get started, you have to join Amazon Associates. And again, this is the boring stuff. This is that background stuff that you actually need to know so you can get up and running. You can go to affiliate-program.amazon.com. And when you sign up, this is important, what you need to know. You need to have a website or YouTube channel or an app. You need to have one of those three things. If you don't have any one of them, you need to create at least a YouTube channel because it's gonna ask for that information. Now, when it comes to Amazon, you need to have at least three qualified sales. I believe it's in six months. It's either 90 days or six months. I, I don't remember exactly, but qualified sales basically mean that someone clicks on your affiliate link and they go through the process of making a purchase. Uh, there can't be really any shady things happening. It all has to be above board. Once that happens, once you earn three qualified sales with M, the, the a lot of time frame, you'll get full acceptance. Now, in my case, when I first started my, my first blog, I did not get accepted on the first or second time around. I got accepted, I think, on the third time around. And you can apply as many times as you want. The only drawback and the weird thing to it is anytime you apply, you have to, anytime you reapply, you have to get a new um, new username and so your affiliate links will be different and that's only a problem if you've created a bunch of content let's say you have a blog with 30 blog posts you have to go back and change your affiliate links on all 30 blog posts so that can be problematic that can be a pain there are some apps out there some um, word plus wordpress plugins that will help with that that'll allow you to make changes in one place but just know that going in most people unless you have built up a following first and then applied to Amazon, most people will have to apply multiple times. And that is okay, there's no problem. Now there's no difference between the provisional and con uh, the provisional or conditional acceptance and the real full acceptance, there's no no difference. You just have to get the sale and then maintain, maintain a couple sales every, every year so that your account remains active. And so I, I guarantee you, if you're brand new to Amazon and affiliate marketing, the first few sales are always the hardest because it can feel like it's never going to happen. Now, once you go ahead and you go through 
and you sign up for Amazon and you have that provisional or conditional acceptance, the other thing that you should do right away is you should go ahead and get Sightstripe. Sightstripe will allow you to have this little banner. Now I jump over to Amazon. Right now I don't have Sightstripe live on my, my Amazon.com um, webpage. If I refresh the screen here, I'll have Amazon, um, I'll have I'll have Sightstripe. Sightstripe allows you to find and get your affiliate links so much faster and so much easier than going all the way through Amazon. What you can do once you download Sightstripe, and it's just a, I believe it's a Chrome extension. Once you download Sightstripe, you'll be able to just go right over to Amazon and type in something like a stand mixer. I always use stand mixer, stand mixer. And then you can get your uh, you can get your affiliate links that way so it makes your life much easier when it comes to to getting your affiliate links as opposed to what the site stripe you've got to log in you've got to search you've got to find the one that you're looking for and then copy and so on with site stripe if we scroll up i'm just going to grab this one right here the hamilton beach i think we talked about this one a little bit last week or the week before with site stripe you can get your text links you can get the short links or the long links you can also get approved images through uh, through Sightstripe, it allow you to create images that uh, go over to the product that you're recommending, and you can do both text and image as well. So um, definitely, definitely get Sightstripe. And the other thing that you want to be aware of when you first get started is the the fee schedule or the commission income statement is what it's called now. This is the amount of money that you'll earn, the commission that you'll earn anytime you recommend a product. And this is important because the amount of money that you can earn will vary depending on the type of product that you recommend. For example, Amazon Games will pay you a 20% commission. However, with gift cards, you'll earn a 0% commission. Or with Amazon Fresh, your physical video game, video game consoles, growth, grocery, health, and personal care, it's a 1% commission. So this is important to know when you get up and running. Also, if we scroll down, there's more information here. You should definitely check this out for yourself. I'm gonna copy this and put it in the it put it in the chat here. Hopefully you're able to see that, but this is going to be important to your success because a lot of people wonder why they're not making any money or they're making very little money. It's because they're promoting products that are going to pay you 1% commission. Like video game consoles, the PlayStation 5 went for 599. 1% of 599, so if we do 599 times 1%, that's $5.99 that you would potentially earn. So that's important to know as well. And that'll help you determine which products you should and should not promote. Uh, if we look at this, TVs are 4%. Um, I always do like an average of 3% just to give yourself an idea of how much you could make. But it really can vary and it varies greatly. So we've talked about sign up. We've talked about uh, the fee schedule. We've talked about site stripe. Let's talk about how we can start making money. And there's a number of ways to do it. And I'm going to just pick a product. I think I'm... Let's do... Let's do smokers because I'm talking about smokers and this could be a great way to potentially make money and there's a bunch of ways to do it. So if we go over to Amazon, we can type in, uh, we could type in smoker and what I recommend that you do ultimately is find products that are at least $150 because if we do the math, 103% of $150, so $150 multiply 3%. You're looking at $4.50 for any product that you promote. Uh, so that's important. You want to make sure that you are cognizant of that when you are going out and promoting different products and services. Now, if you want to promote a smoker, if you don't know, smokers are basically like outdoor ovens that offer that are that, that allow you to cook food over a long period of time. Um, they are different types of smokers. There's gas. Um, so like um, propane, there's charcoal, there's pellet. There's wood burning. There's all sorts of th stuff out there, and that can lend itself to a lot of good opportunities. There's electric smokers too. I don't know if I mentioned that, but there's there's a lot, a lot of options, and so there's a lot of opportunity. So what you'd want to do is you want to go out and find a product. In my opinion, again, you want to find a product that's at least $150. That's going to pay you a decent amount of money. There's also tons of accessories out there, and this is going to be an opportunity for you to make even more money because if you know someone is interested in smoking, meat or vegetables or desserts, you know there's also other accessories out there that they're gonna be interested in as well. For example, um, they're gonna be interested in like grilling gloves and you know all sorts of stuff. And this thing I've never even seen before, uh, a smoking gun food cooker cocktail smoke infuser. That's something that 
someone is going to potentially be interested in. So what we're going to do is let's just grab this product here, the master built 30 inch digital electric smoker. And there's a number of ways to promote this product. You can do it both directly and indirectly. Now, when I say directly, you can just go up to, you can go up to YouTube or Google. You can copy in the name of the product like this. So we're just going to copy this. We're going to go over to YouTube and we're just going to paste this in and then we're going to hit enter. Now, when I first bought my smoker, that's exactly what I did to learn how to do things like season it and how to cook basic, basic meats, basic meats. As you can see here, people are just typing in the name of the product. Sometimes they'll type in review after you want to check and make sure that that's happening. This top result here, 3000 views, 2000 subscribers on our first on, on our first search here, we see that there's opportunity and you can go through and simply create content. Um, one example I think I talked about earlier this week or last week is I showed people how to set up and install a bounce house. And when you do that, people are going to watch this video. People that are interested and ready to buy the smoker want to learn everything they can about it because it's a relatively expensive product. And so they're going to look it up before. So this is just one way to go. Another thing that we can do is we can approach it indirectly. And when it comes to indirectly, we're going to be asking questions. So let's say me, um, I want to smoke a brisket. So I could type in something like how to, uh, how to, I'm going to click search. I'm going to go over to, and this is Ahrefs. This is a, a paid keyword tool. You can get started with, with, with it for $7 for seven days. Um, so I typed in how to, and I'm going to include the word smoke because I want to smoke meat. Or I can type in something like how long does it take to smoke, how to smoke a brisket, top result 20,000 um, monthly searches, keyword difficulty 30. There are 945,000 monthly searches, 94,000 keywords with how to smoke, how to smoke salmon, how to smoke ribs, all sorts of stuff. And then look at this one. It says how long to smoke ribs at 225. If we copy this, and this is something that people are going to be interested in. Um, if we copy this and we go over to YouTube and we paste this in, uh, come on. Always, it always does this to me. Uh, we can paste this in just like that. Or we can talk about different problems. Now remember, people will buy stuff if they are running into uh, a problem. Maybe the smoker's not getting up to the required temperature. You can either promote parts to repair it. For example, the knobs on my smoker fell off, and so I had to go out and buy new ones. I had to figure out which ones fit for the actual smoker. So that's an opportunity. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that opportunity in a second. But look at this: How long to smoke ribs at 225? The top result, 3.6 million views. The one above that actually has has 10,000 subscribers, 500 views. So these are all different ways that you can get in front of your targeted audience. Um, let me, let's see. I'm going to go back over to that smoker that we looked up. And people are actually looking up the product name. So if we do this, now there probably won't be a ton of searches. I'm going to open this up in a new one right here. Um, but let's see. We're going to paste this in just like that and hit enter and people are actually looking up or should be looking up the name of the actual product. And as you can see, they're looking up the manual, uh, master built, so on, so on. Um, I wish I remembered the name of my smoker because I had to look up the actual product name so that I could figure out which knobs work best. And then once I figured out which knobs work best, I had to go over to Amazon and then get those knobs. Uh, can you talk about Ahrefs? Sure. Um, so Ahrefs is a paid keyword tool. You can get started $7 for seven days. And there's a few different ways to use it. The way that I'm using it right now is simply typing in keywords or keyword phrases. And when you first type in a keyword or keyword phrase, it's going to give you the keyword difficulty of that keyword. So how to just those two, just those two words is a keyword difficulty of 38 out of 100. The closer you get to 100, the more difficult it will be for a new blog, website, or YouTube channel to rank for that keyword. That means major players. Like if we typed in weight loss, so if I go up here and I type in 
uh, something like weight loss, you're going to see that keyword difficulty is going to be really difficult. So uh, weight loss, or if we type in affiliate marketing, that's a really competitive keyword. So super hard, 88 out of 100 for weight loss. But if we look at the matching terms, so with matching terms, it usually means that the keywords are somewhere within the keywords that show up here. For example, uh, Rebel Wilson weight loss, uh, weight loss pills, Adele weight loss. It, it means under the matching terms, it means that the words that we entered in are also included in the keyword or keyword phrase. Um, so if we go back over here to uh, how to, I'm going to show you the matching terms and you can see that that included in these keywords that I, I typed in are how to, how to train your dragon, how to make French toast. And what I'd like to do is I like to change the keyword difficulty to five or less. K KD stands for keyword difficulty. So we change it to five or less, and this should give us a better opportunity to rank for those keywords when, when you're looking for keywords, uh, for keywords, for, for con um, it, excuse me, it should make it easier for a new blogger website to rank for keywords when you're looking for keyword or keyword ideas. For example, uh, how to make concrete Minecraft is, um, it has a keyword difficulty of five. It looks like it's searched about 20,000 times per month. And then the global, so the volume is just United States. Global means 29,000. Um, and then the rest of the stuff I don't really pay attention to because it's more for paid ads. What we're looking for is we're looking for organic type stuff. And so I change the keyword difficulty. You can also do things like look based on volume. So the number of searches per month. Um, if I'm looking for keywords for products people are searching for and then find high volume searches, then I find the right product to sell them in Shopify. Can I use Ahrefs? Yeah, you can use Ahrefs. Let me show you the other way that you can use Ahrefs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do how to include the word smoke, S-M-O-K-E, just like that. And we've got the keyword difficulty to five or less. Um, how to smoke pork shoulder at 275. So I'm going to copy this keyword and I'm going to look it up over in Google. And what I'm going to do here is I'm looking for small or medium sized websites. So BBQ host was probably pretty large. Let's do BBQ host. I'm going to open that up. Let's see if we can scroll down and let's look at this one. All right. So we've got two examples. I'm going to jump over here and I want to take a look at these websites. I want to see if they're large, if they're small, we can actually look and see how Shopify, Shopify works. Can you list Amazon products and that? So Shopify is just a website. Uh, it's a like it's a web page builder. It's really no different than ClickFunnels or WordPress or all of those things out there. Um, Shopify is a tool that you use to sell products and services. It can be your own products. It can be dropship products. You could do affiliate marketing, I guess, if you're willing to pay the monthly thing. But it really all depends on what you're planning on doing with Shopify. Uh, but Shopify is a web page builder, just like many of the other ones out there. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the link address. We're going to go back over to Ahrefs and we are going to open up Site Explorer. When we open up Site Explorer, we want to look and see the keywords that the that the website ranks for. And the reason for that is because this can give us ideas on the types of content that we could create. So when we look at this, this is under Site Explorer, the Ahrefs rank is is really good for us. That means uh, this rank is the, their website ranks 6 million plus in the world. They rank for 92,000 keywords. So what this tells us is that smaller websites do have an opportunity to rank for some keywords. And we're going to take a look at these organic keywords and you can do this for any website. I like to do it for different affiliate programs coming up this week. I do affiliate program reviews on this channel and I, and I show you how to do it. So if we take a look at this, these are all of the different keywords that this website ranks for. And once again, we can change the keyword difficulty to five or less, and this can give us ideas. So if we change it to five or less, you can see how long to smoke pork shoulder at 275. They're ranked number one. If we look pit boss P setting pork cushion meat, where to pro biscuit. That's an interesting question that someone like myself, that's looking to uh, cook a biscuit, a uh, brisket on the smoker might be interested in. And what you can do is um, you can say something like you could create content like smoker won't. So let's, let's look at that smoker, SMO smoker 
won't, or we could say like electric smoker won't. So we type in smoker won't, I should have probably used um, apostrophe there, but let's see, smoker won't. And let's see if that gives us better results here. Anyway, do you, does this make sense? Uh, master built electric smoker won't heat. So that's a question someone's asking where you could create content and then either solve the problem by getting them the accessory or the part that they're looking for or tell them that they need a brand new smoker. Now this is interesting that it only showed up for master built. I don't think I did master built only, um, but smoker won't. We could look up like smoker won't, sp smoker doesn't, smoker can't. These are all different things that we could look up and these are all people that have a problem. They want to use their smoker, and this can be applied to anything. Um, so we go over to matching terms, and we're going to just add in the the phrases or the, the words won't, can't, don't. So we could say um, won't, won't, can't, don't. Uh, can I build a website and sell Amazon stuff in that? Like buying a product on Amazon and listing it on my website without getting the product on my address. So you wanna do something like drop shipping. I, drop shipping is not my strong strong point. Um, but yeah, you could buy a product from Amazon and then turn around and sell it on your website. I don't know that that would be the best way. Um, I have a better understanding of it. Good, I'm happy that that um, you understand Ahrefs now. But doing, doing it that way probably isn't the best way to use Amazon. Um, you could probably find products cheaper on something like AliExpress if you're trying to do drop shipping or something like that. Now, drop shipping is not my strong point. I rarely talk and do strong. I, I think I looked into drop shipping, but I never actually started it because I couldn't really figure out how to actually make money with it. Um, there are tons of other channels out there that will teach you and show you how to do drop shipping. Uh, but I don't unfortunately know a ton about, but if we look at this master built electric smoker, won't heat, won't turn on, won't heat up. There's 680 monthly searches. And I wonder why it's um, locked into master built because there are tons of other brands out there where you could potentially create content. But as you can see here, this is one opportunity that you could, you could create content. You could either refer them over to the products that, um, yeah, no problem. You're welcome. Uh, you can either refer them to the parts that are going to help, for example, the knob that I needed, or you could you could actually uh, get them over to a new smoker. For example, last year, maybe two years ago at this point, my smoker would not go above 150 degrees. And after searching the internet, it did, I found out that there were cobwebs that were built up in the little um, igniters or you know wherever the fire comes out of, I, I don't know. The technical term but that was the problem and when I was searching and searching and searching I either had the decision to uh, buy a new smoker or try and figure out exactly what the problem was but as you can see smoker won't go above 150 the top result here is a form so if you created content on that uh, the online grill.com we could take a look at this one these are all different ways that you can create content and, and, and potentially make money but we could let's go back over to uh, let's go back over to our product here now there like I said there's two ways to do it you can go indirect or you can go direct the indirect way is to talk about um, how to blank smoker or how to blank electric smoker um, the direct way would be how to blank master built MB 30 inch digital smoker so if we did that we could go copy just like this we can copy this and we could do like how to, um, we're going to paste in that, hit the space bar. Uh, let's see if we can find something. We're going to hit enter here for now. And so <clears throat> the cool thing is, is Google, if you don't want to pay the $7 for, for Ahrefs, Google is going to recommend questions that people are also asking. They do it up here at the top and all the way here at the bottom to try and help you with your with your question to better understand and make sure they're on the right track. But you could simply do how to underscore blank like that. Um, we could delete master built to see if there's anything here. But again, there's two ways to go to go about it. Um, the direct way is to just 
create content about this Masterville smoker. We could compare this smoker to other smokers that are out there, whether it's a blog post or a YouTube channel. So let's do verses here. Let's see if there's anything there. All right, so let's go back and let's get this entire keyword just like this. Copy that. And let's see, paste that in. Let's see if verses. So as you can see here, people are looking up this smoker versus a propane smoker. So I have a propane smoker and I want to know the difference if I'm, you know, doing the right things with regards to these smokers. As you can see here, people are asking these questions. Um, let's do master built over on YouTube. I'll copy this just like that. Do you guys have any questions for me? Is this making sense? We're going to paste this in just like that. And we're going to do pellet smoker. But I mean, this can work for anything. If you don't want to do smokers, if you don't know anything about smokers, A, that'd be a good opportunity to learn. And B, um, this works for any product. If you want to get into the tech space, this works will probably work much better for the tech space, actually. But if we take a look, um, can you smoke meat at 150? So this actually, the, the initial question that came up isn't on target. So we're going to open, we're going to copy this new link address, and then we can just follow the same process to figure out exactly what people are asking, what people want to know. So we're going to, once again, we're going to paste in the onlinegrill.com and look at their keywords. If we go back to their overview, we can see that they, they have an AH rank of 2 million, which is good for us. They rank for 100,000 plus key organic keywords. So when I click on this, this is going to tell us or provide us some opportunity to create content. And once again, with affiliate marketing, and this is for any product or service that you're recommending, you are simply linking a solution to a problem. And usually people are coming to the internet and they're asking the same question in multiple ways. You just need to figure out how to answer those questions and, and the questions that they're asking. And if you can do that, you can make money. Um, another way that you could potentially make money, and it just popped up here because um, I wasn't thinking about it, but you could create smoker recipes. If we look down here, pellet smoker recipe. That has 33, it's a keyword difficulty of 33. There's almost 3,000 searches per month. But if we look up smoker recipes, we're going to copy this, go back over, and we're going to, so it says smoker. We could add in recipes here. And when I was on the road to getting my smoker, I looked up all sorts of smoker recipes. My, my, my wife really likes the uh, bourbon salmon. I don't like salmon so much, but she really likes it and so we can look up smoker recipes and we can create content here about smoker recipes and you can see that the keyword difficulty first of all there's 78,000 monthly searches and there's 4,000 keywords here so we could look we could look up master built smoker recipe let's change let's get rid of that s here we're going to hit enter and this should give us more opportunity so now 57,000 monthly searches uh, brisket beef jerky smoker recipe if we copy this we can go back over to google here paste that in and you're simply just going to answer these questions and you can see that's exactly what people are doing you're teaching people how to make beef jerky you're maybe solving a problem that they have and this goes on and on and on and the cool thing is if they're interested in something like a smoker they might be interested in different wood and that might be a question that people are asking they might be interested in a cover as you can see here special gloves for carrying the the hot meat uh, special utensils there's all sorts of stuff that you can permit there's all sorts of stuff that you can promote and that's why i think it's important to get people on a, on a mailing list and so what you would do is you're going to go out and figure out your niche or the area that you want to create content in this instance we want to create content. We want to target people that are interested in smokers. And so now that we're, now that we know they're interested in smokers, we can promote the smoker and then we can promote additional things alongside it. As I mentioned, um, wood chips or something, gloves, um, one of those, um, timers, there's special timers that you can promote. Uh, so I'm just going to type in smoker timer. Those are not too expensive, but you know, you could promote something like smoker timers or thermometers is probably a, a better word to say. But as you can see, this one right here, this whole kit, $135. And you could potentially make money off of 
you can make more money off of the same customer. So you don't need a millions of people. You just need to know how to monetize the thousand that you have or 5,000 that you have. As you can see here, there they have these uh, thermometers that you can put right onto the side of the smoker and connect it to your meat. And then you can actually, some of these timers are Bluetooth, like this one over here. I used to have a Bluetooth one, uh, but it, it stopped working for whatever reason. But you can have it so that the app sends you a notification when the meat hits a certain temperature. Um, if if Amazon paid us for grocery or HelloFresh, we could find different products to promote from there as well. But you can see how this all starts to come together and you can make even more money. Uh, you could even promote this thing over here. It's a pellet smoker tube. You can promote, believe it or not, you could promote outdoor light, outdoor lighting uh, because people that are smoking at night or smoking early in the morning, they want to be able to see what they're doing. There's tons of opportunity when you pick a niche, when you pick an area to create content and you can make even more money with the same people right from Amazon. A lot of people, a lot of people complain, uh, inc including myself, that Amazon doesn't pay very much, but you can take the people that you do have and you can maximize, um, you, can, you can maximize the amount of money because you know the problems or should know the potential problems that they run into. Like I mentioned, um, <clears throat> if we just, uh, if I'm just thinking about myself, uh, once I got the smoker, I needed, I needed wood and I needed all sorts of stuff to get up and running. Now, a person that collected my email address and that recommended the smoker could have said, hey, look, now that you have your smoker, now there's no way of knowing, unfortunately, with Amazon, you could say something like, now that you know, now that you have your smoker, here's some other things that you probably need as well. You probably need a thermometer to t test your meat or here are some of the best recipes for uh, your brand new smoker. <clears throat> these are all very easy and simple ways to make even more money with your with your traffic so again you don't need a ton of traffic to get up and running you just need a way to um, you need to understand your area your target market which is the best place to promote products without followers and subscribers is there any good websites which has built an audience to promote well the thing is um, what do you think about high ticket organic Facebook marketing the thing is, is that everything works. I did a video maybe two months ago that showed you that there are millions of people on every single platform. The problem isn't the traffic. The problem is the consistency and the patience required to monetize that traffic. And it also really depends on, on what you're comfortable with. Some people aren't comfortable creating content on YouTube, but could write all day. Um, any, any traffic can work. It really all depends. Like for example, <clears throat> If you want to get started with TikTok, TikTok would probably work for health and beauty. TikTok works for making money online and investing. TikTok may not be the best way to go for a smoker, but creating something highly visual, you could you could even do Pinterest, I believe. But if you create something highly visual, that might work on YouTube. Um, for example, I've watched this one video for uh, I've I've watched the same video of a guy cooking a brisket probably ten times. I know what he's going to say. I know what he's going to do, but I keep watching it because it's highly visual and it's a guide for me. Any traffic method can work. You can use Reddit. You could use forum sites. You could use, um, you could use Quora. You just have to, again, you have to find where people are asking the question and you have to find a solution that goes with that question. You could, you could make a full-time income <clears throat> with just Quora if you, if you wanted to. Um, but it takes consistency and persistence to do it. People make full-time incomes on YouTube. People make full-time income. I just showed you. People make full-time income with blogging. Any of these methods can work. Like this channel, the onlinegrill.com. If we take a look at this, according to Ahrefs, his traffic value is $68,000. I think that's per month. Um, so any platform can work. And his rank is only $2 million. It's It's a relatively small channel. You just have to a do a little bit of the research, figure out exactly what your customers want to know. Uh, you know, picking a niche, find a product that will solve that problem, and then make sure that you are doing everything that you can to monetize. People don't want to start email marketing because it's too expensive, but you can start email marketing for free with Aweber. So really, there's no excuse for not for not being able to monetize whatever traffic you have. Uh, so, I mean, anything can work. You could do Facebook. Um, <clears throat> if we did, if we looked at Facebook, we could do Facebook groups. 
Now, some people will want you to like reach out to people on Facebook. I'm not big on that. Um, I personally don't like, um, I don't like reaching out to people and jumping in their, in their messenger or their inbox. Um, other people are a huge proponent of that. Uh, let's see. Later this week, you'll learn that you can make money with creating a Dallas Cowboy. And this is getting off into something else. But you can make money with a Dallas Cowboy Facebook group. So I just typed in Dallas Cowboy. And I'm going to go down to groups. And you're going to see there are millions of people in these different Dallas Cowboy groups where you could make money. Look at this. 121,000 members, 60,000 members, 65,000 members. So we're, we're approaching, if you just look at the screen here, we're approaching close to a half a million people that are interested in the Cowboys. You could go over to Amazon and we could type in, uh, first let's get out of here. We could type in something like Dallas Cowboys. Hit enter. And if you know your market and if you know the solution, you can make money. For example, in October, um, football NFL teams do the breast cancer awareness. Uh, they wear pink. And so you could promote things that are pink. Look at all these different products that you could promote. Now, they're not over $100, but you could make money here. And that's simple with a face, simple face, Facebook group where people are going to come here and they love to argue about their team. Once you get up and running and people start joining your group, you post a few messages, post a little content, and then people are going to start arguing about the Dallas Cowboys. And then as people continue to argue and post about the Dallas Cowboys, that's going to attract more people. The Facebook algorithm is going to see that people are commenting and arguing about the, about the Cowboys on your Facebook group, and they're going to send more people to your Facebook group. You simply add in your link. Where are we at here? You simply add in a link to a, uh, uh, an Amazon store and you can make money or with, as I mentioned with breast cancer, um, awareness month and everybody wears pink, you could add in pink jerseys. Look at this, uh, kitchen knives. People are going to buy this stuff. People are buying this stuff all day and all night. And what you do is for example, this kitchen knife, we click on this, we can go up and click on text and we can get our URL and we could potentially paste our, our URL right into uh, unisex adult kitchen knives. <laughs> um, we could we can click on the text here. That's funny. And as you can see, we can get our link right here, get our link, put it right into Facebook. People click and buy our, our knives, and most likely they're going to buy other stuff. If they click on the knives, they might buy that, um, the cooking cover. I forgot what it's called. But, I mean, there, any traffic method can and will work. It's all about... The person doing the marketing if you don't be spammy so if you don't just spam your affiliate link everywhere telling people to buy 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 and you're patient because the things that I'm telling you aren't going to happen overnight the things that I'm it, it took me it probably took me a good nine months before I I got full approval into Amazon Associates as I mentioned in the very beginning I had to reapply to Amazon Associates twice with my first my first blog. Uh, we could do Smoker. Hopefully, this isn't people like smoking. Um, as you saw, smoking recipes. If we click on groups, uh, so we click on groups. As you can see, barbecue smoking for beginners. That's an awesome group for you to create content. Seven hundred eighty nine thousand members, people that are beginner smokers. I'm sure these people are going to be asking questions. Let's see if we can get in here. I'm sure people are asking questions about the best type of smoker for an apartment, best type of smoker for this and that. And in fact, why don't we go over to YouTube and we type in something like best smoker for best smoker for jerky, for home use, compilation, best smoker for salmon, Best smoker for fish, cocktails, beef jerky, summer sausage. Let's click on that summer sausage one. And again, I'm typing in smoker. You can do this with anything. If we look at this, top result here, 128,000 views from four years ago, only has 30,000 subscribers. Best deer, summer sausage, smoked and master built electric smoker. And he's not even answering the question. He's not even answering the question of the best smoker for, uh, for the summer sausage or for 
yeah best smoker four so if we go up here and let's do best smoker four let's see if we can find one uh best smoker for cold smoking interesting cold smoking is a whole new avenue that we haven't even talked about uh best cold smoke generator reviews top re top result five thousand views from nine months ago and this person just creates reviews this person probably does b-roll and music they might not even show their face but if we open this up there are affiliate links i i would assume guys let me know if this is making sense let me know if this is helpful uh, let's see if we can mute this there we are uh we'll wait for that to load but you can see i mean the question is is will 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 reddit work will quora work all of it works um, the level of success that you're looking for will probably vary based on on the product that you're promoting and the market that you're using, but it all works. If we scroll down here, it doesn't look like I can actually look at the, the let's see if we can look at the discussions. Um, I'm glad this is helping, helping you, um, but it's really all about the, okay, so it's private. Let's go back and see if we can find one. It's all about being the consistent and persistent. What happens, and I say this all the time, is we get frustrated that we're not getting the instant success. We're not, you know, we just started our YouTube channel and then we're wondering why people aren't, aren't viewing and why people aren't buying. Um, and it's all about having the right perspective. So smokers and grillers, 78,000 Australian low and slow barbecuers, custom, uh, let's see, smoking meat. Let's see if we can open this one up. This one has 223,000 members and they're just talking about smoking. Um, and you, again, you could do this with anything. Um, is it really hard to get sales from Facebook groups because Facebook groups is full of telegram link scams and other spammy bots. So what I do is I, I own my own. So there's two, two ways to go about it. This is what I did to grow my, my Facebook group. I would go in to different affiliate marketing forums and I would post images. I would post images like, um, let me see if I can find them. But what I did is I simply, I went and created about 10 or 15 images and I would I would post them in 10 or 15 different Facebook groups. These images were actually helpful images and people were shocked. And then in my, in my bio or in my banner, I had a link to my Facebook group. So if you look at this, launch your last online business today. When you click on this, it looks like a button. You click on it, it opens up to a few different links. One of the links was to my Facebook group. So I want to see if I can find this real quick. Um, I'm just going to keep talking randomly, keyword research, letters, other Facebook groups. Sorry. All right. So this entire folder here, it's, it's marked other Facebook groups. And what I did as soon as this loads up is I simply created images and you can create those over on Canva. So if we go to canva.com, I created images that were actually helpful and I would just post them. I would rotate them and I would just do this a couple times per day. And because I was one of the few people that weren't saying, Hey, check out my telegram, whatever, whatever, I automatically became the subject matter expert. So I'm going to bring this over and let's see if I can find the ones that I did. So you can either hire someone over on Fiverr to do these for five or $10, or you can make them yourself. I had a bunch where I made them myself. I wonder where those went, but um, let me just show you real quick. So we can go to like Facebook groups, Facebook, uh, Facebook posts, just like this. And then I, I really want to know where those went because, because I had, I had some good ones. I had my name, I had my logo um, and it, it just had like helpful information and you know, it, it surprised people because it was actually helpful. Let's see. Um, templates. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went, but, um, you can, you can create these Facebook posts really easy. I was actually about to buy a 3k course, but not even sure if this is for me. I just want something that works for me, possibly fast result. That's a buying argument for me with Facebook organic. In my opinion, if you're looking for fast results, Facebook Facebook organic is not the way to go. Um, if you're looking for fast results and the product makes sense, you probably want TikTok 
or even uh, I'm going to kind of reverse what I just said here. You, you probably want TikTok or you want Facebook Reels. Those are going to be the two fast results. But you can create a post here. I wonder where they went. Now I'm kind of like, I'm kind of mad that I lost that. Let me see if I can, uh, where did Facebook go? Facebook disappeared. Um, we'll go back into it. So we'll go back to facebook.com. Um, uh, in my opinion, if you want fast results, quote unquote, fast results, let's see, I would recommend, I would recommend that you look at something like Facebook reels and then, and or TikTok, and you can actually repurpose your content on both, man. I really, I'm kind of like, um, to TikTok. No. Let's see, uploaded questions. I don't know where it went. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can find affiliate marketing for everyone. But the key, the key to success on Facebook is the exact opposite of what everyone else is telling you. The key to success on Facebook is actually answering questions. Jump in here, be a part of the community. Don't spam this weird stuff. This weird stuff doesn't work. It hasn't worked in a number of years. So I'm just going to scroll through and see if I can find my photos. You can also do the same thing with TikTok videos. That works as well. Um, I haven't done this in a while, but this is that that's the key. Start your own start your own uh, Facebook group and then you can harvest people from other Facebook groups by just answering the question and being generally helpful. Do you guys have any other questions for me? Let me know if this is making sense. I am very disappointed that uh, that this is gone. Let me see if I can find it. I'm just going to do a real quick check. Is it under that one? Um, so I have a, a network attached storage that has 14 terabytes of hard drive space and I am running out of space because I, I keep everything including raw files. But so I, when I can't find stuff like other Facebook groups, that's where it should be. Maybe I deleted them. Um, I don't know, but anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, let's see. Nope. I don't see it. Anyway, let's get back to it. So again, with affiliate marketing, any, any method can work. If we went over to, let's go over to Quora, we'll go to Quora.com, Quora.com. And you just look for basic questions that people are asking. And if you don't know the answer, just copy the question and put it right into into Google. So if we typed in like smoker, uh, smoker, hopefully this doesn't come back to someone that wants to smoke. Uh, makes a lot of sense. Yes. Thanks for elaborating. You're welcome. Um, what are people so rude about cigarettes with how to smoke? We could say like how to smoke. We could do like how to smoke, uh, S M O K E smoke. Hmm. None of these are quite what we're looking for. Salmon, S A L M O N, how to smoke salmon. So these are people that are asking questions about how to smoke salmon. And you could go through and you could simply just answer these questions. Again, you're going to be surprised. If you just show up every couple days or every day, um, do you have videos on beginner becoming Amazon affiliate? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think, like, what questions do you have that I can answer for you right now? Because I've got you right now, I can just answer them. And I think this is pretty beginner friendly. You pick a, a product over on Amazon, you figure out the questions that people are asking and you answer those questions. But if you look here, people are asking questions about how do I smoke salmon? You answer the question. Now with Quora, you have to get them off of the platform. You cannot put your affiliate links in Quora. You'll do that. You'll get banned. You can also do the same thing with Pinterest. If we look at Pinterest, now Pinterest is a search engine. Uh, it's a search engine that has a it has a social media component. So if we go up here, we can type in, we can type in like master built, master built. I just tried a couple of methods on affiliate marketing and very disappointing results. Not too motivated to give other methods a try. Uh, so if we look master built smoker recipes, and then here you can use this to get people over to your YouTube channel or to your website. Now, the interesting thing is it's, you said, I tried a couple of methods. The question will be, how long did you try those methods for? And what methods did you try? Did you buy something from 
like a done for you solution or one of those things that is just like set it and forget it because I can guarantee you those almost never work. But as you can see here, people are looking up different things with Smoker. You could refer them over to your YouTube channel or blog post and make money. When it comes to Pinterest, always do video pins from now on. Video pins really stand out and pop. So make sure that you're doing video pins only. Um, but there are, there, there are so many different ways that you can make money. You just simply find a product or um, you could find a niche that works. A niche is just going to be an area where you create content. For example, your niche could be the Dallas Cowboys. And then within the Dallas Cowboys, there's a bunch of different products that you can promote and make money. Um, your niche could be, if we go to, I click on all, let's go to, you could do something like outdoor living. If we look at departments, you can use departments as different niche ideas. You could do pet supplies. And then under pet supplies, you could, your niche could be dog or cat or fish or small animals. If we go back over to the main menu, but then you want to make sure that once you find your niche, you need to figure out the questions that people are asking. If we go to, uh, let's go back over to, uh, let's go to, let's do outdoors. So we'll do outdoors and we could do something like scooters, skateboards and skates. Now that's a, that's an interesting niche that you could get into. You just have to figure out what questions are people are asking. And when you're figuring out the questions that people are asking, you can start with the end. The end, in my opinion, the end is the solution. The end is the product that you're recommending. So we're going to go to skates here. Now I know nothing about skateboarding and skates and all of that stuff. So, um, we could just look at, uh, let's look at these roller skates for, for kids. I think they are. So what we can do is we could simply copy this uh, unicorn. Let's do unicorn. We're going to copy this. We're going to jump back over to, we're going to jump over to Google. Once again, we're going to paste this in and we're going to see what questions people are asking about roller skates and skating in general. So we're going to type in review. I was doing it a little couple weeks ago. I was doing it like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I would, in my opinion, let's see, I was doing it a couple weeks ago. I was selling a couple ClickBank products via Bing ads and landing pages. Also tried, also direct linking, also YouTube reviews. PVC, can you LLC, can my LLC apply to become an Amazon affiliate? Yes, um, you can be an LLC, you can be an individual, you can be, you can be whatever it is that you wanna be with with regard to uh, being an LLC or an individual. Uh, let's see, I tried a couple methods. I was doing it like a couple weeks ago. I was selling ClickBank products. So what I'd recommend that you do is I recommend that you put your foot in the ground and make a decision and say, I am going to do affiliate marketing with paid traffic or free traffic, and then spend all of your time learning the ins and outs of that traffic method and become the expert in it. Because if you've only been doing this a couple weeks and you've already tried Bing ads, which can work, uh, direct linking, which can work, but I don't recommend, and also YouTube reviews, that, um, well, PPC is sustainable if you know what you're doing. Hey, what's up? Um, how's it going? Kiss it where the sun miss it. That's, a, that's an interesting name. Um, anyway, any of these any of these methods can work. But what I recommend that you do and what it looks like that you've done, and I obviously I don't, I don't know anything about your or who you are. You probably have watched a bunch of YouTube videos where people are telling you that you can make a hundred dollars per day with Bing ads, and then you can make a hundred dollars per day without a website. And then you can make a hundred dollars per day with YouTube reviews. I would recommend that you pick one, pick one traffic source, become the expert in it, know everything about it. If you're going to do YouTube videos, figure out how the algorithm works, figure out how to make perfect thumbnails, how to do every aspect of YouTube and simply create that content. But it can work. Any of these methods can work. If they didn't work, people wouldn't be doing them. If, if Bing ads didn't work, then nobody would be running Bing ads. If direct linking didn't work, while I don't recommend it, um, they all can work. That screen name was made for haters, but you're cool. Hey, thanks. <laughs> That's interesting. Anyway, any of these, any of these methods can and will work 
if you are consistent and persistent. What probably happened with your Bing ads is you ran through $100 in like three hours or maybe three days and you're like, this doesn't work. But it, but but they do, they work. I've ran Bing ads before. Um, I've run YouTube ads and Facebook ads and Google ads. I've done Pinterest ads. Pinterest ads actually work, work well. Um, any of these methods can work. I'm not a big fan of solo ads. That's my one hiccup. Um, but any of these methods can work if you are consistent, you take the time to become a subject matter expert, and you really just focus and lock in on that one traffic source. You'll run into problems if you're jumping over. It, you're, first, you'll run into problems if you're getting emails from a bunch of affiliate marketers that are telling you that this solution right here is you know, a completely done-for-you, set-it-and-forget-it system because there's no such thing. Uh, but make sure you, you take the time to learn everything you can about it. Uh, do you guys have any other questions for me today? Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Guys, let me know, was this helpful for Amazon? Um, did I, maybe did I go too fast? I, did I go too slow? Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully hopefully I was able to help you out. You're, when it comes to affiliate marketing, once again, the product that you're promoting is the solution, okay? And when people have a question, they have a problem. No one asks a question over on Google unless they have a problem. Take my example. When the knobs fell off on my on my smoker, I had to go to Google and look up the, the knob replacement. I had to look at the user manual for my master belt. I didn't have it on me, obviously. I had to go to Google and I had to find the knobs. Someone created content that listed the knobs that I could buy over on Amazon. I clicked on those affiliate links and I bought and I purchased. Um, but I mean, this works for anything and everything. When I wanted to get new parts and accessories, I had to look up parts and accessories for my smoker. Um, and then again, you can turn this into a whole business with just a thousand viewers if you're promoting things that are congruent. Okay, I actually spent around 1,000 total on Bing, made a thousand, so no loss, but no more sales suddenly. You're smart, you should sell a course on YouTube marketing. I like shorts, but traditional YouTube videos better search friendly launch. A course on paid kickstart or all platforms larger affiliate army. It's not easy at all. No, it, it's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would everybody would be an affiliate marketer and everybody would, would be rich. I mean, the hardest part about affiliate marketing is convincing yourself every single day that you can make money until you start making money. And then the next hardest part is convincing yourself that you can scale to that next level every day until you scale to that next that next level. Um, for a long time, I was making $10 a day, $20 per day. And then you got to convince yourself that, yes, it is possible to make $100 per day with affiliate marketing or, you know, $1,000 per day. Um, but what I recommend that you do, like I said, find one traffic source, become the expert in it, and just go all in. You got to put your head down. You've got to have those stubborn blinders on and create content. I do have, I do have a course um, that covers all, basically everything that I've done with affiliate marketing, including blogging, YouTube, TikTok. Um, it, it's not updated for Facebook Reels, which I should probably do, uh, but I do have a course. I actually I have a free course and then a premium upgrade as well. Uh, maybe I'll put that in the description. Um, let's see if we can find it real quick. Now this is this is free, and then there's premium upgrades on the back end as well. So I'm just going to copy this. We'll put it here if you guys want to uh, take advantage. As you can see, there's three levels to this. Um, but yeah, any other questions for me guys today? Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully this made sense. Hopefully I've kind of um, maybe talked you off the ledge if you are frustrated with affiliate marketing. It's not, I can assure you, it's not like what 75% 75 of the people on YouTube are telling you how easy it is. It's, it's not that easy. You're going to struggle and you're going to have to be stubborn because at the end of the day, you're starting an online business. You're starting a business that happens to be online. People that start a regular brick and mortar business, maybe you were starting a, you opened up a clothing boutique, you know, um, they don't automatically start making a thousand dollars per day. They have to work up to it. They have to learn the skills. They have to learn how to upsell. They have to learn how to make more money with the same customers. It's the exact same thing with affiliate marketing. 
you have to figure out what your customers are asking and then you have to figure out how to answer it succinctly and properly so that you make money and it, it's really the same thing your business happens to be online which can reach billions of people uh, a brick and mortar store is on site in a, uh, you know physical location and it just happens to reach the people that are in front of you thank you i want to build something reliable and sustainable sure to work but it's true you have to stick with it either way yeah i mean you, you won't know that if it works if you quit now if you're sinking in five thousand dollars per month and you're losing it you should probably consider something else um, but any of these methods can work paid free TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. I don't ever really talk about LinkedIn that much, but LinkedIn could work as well because once again, people are congregating in all of these different locations and they all have the same problems. They're either asking, uh, asking the question differently each time or they're going to different locations. Your job is to figure out where those people are and create the content to help solve those problems and link the solution in your in your content but once you do that you can be successful with affiliate marketing guys let me know if you have any questions i am glad that you guys jumped on i am appreciative of the likes that i've made so far that i've earned um, if you haven't done so already be sure to like comment subscribe ring the bell notification do all of that good stuff uh, coming up this week i look at different affiliate programs i think i did four videos so my saturdays basically uh, i wake up i make five videos for this channel I do some other work for my um, channel. This is kind of my work day. And then I come on these live streams at 4.30 or 5.30. I like the 4.30 a little bit better. But then by the end of this video, I'm exhausted and I'll sleep a solid uh, six hours. So guys, let me know. Do you have any questions, comments, concerns about this method that I taught you? There's a lot of ways to make money with any of these programs. My final thoughts are, um, hey, Ron, uh, when do you... I do my live streams on uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays are 5.30. Saturdays, Matt Parker, of course. Good, you should launch affordable version. Hey, um, I think my course is pretty affordable, so especially the free one. So I go live on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Usually they're at 5.30. This time I jumped in an hour early. Also, let us market your course. <laughs> um, I don't know that I can do that because this is a it's a WordPress plugin. I don't know how to do that. I haven't spent the time to look it up. Uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays, 5.30. This time I jumped on a little bit earlier. I also send out an email at the date and time that I'm going live. So if you're not on my email list, uh, go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. I send out emails daily or semi-daily about different tips and, and tricks and, and, and all of that good stuff. So if you guys don't have any questions, I am going to go ahead and sign off. As you can hear, I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. Um, but hopefully, again, this was helpful. Make sure that you get SiteStripe. SiteStripe is going to make your life much easier. Um, you can start with a product as your solution and then just work backwards. People call it reverse engineering. You're just working backwards to figure out what people are asking, and and you'll be, um, and you'll and you'll be you'll be good to go. Um, guys, thanks for jumping on. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you guys stopping by and engaging with me. These uh, live streams are much better when people engage and interact. And so I am very appreciative. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You guys have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow.